Okay, the design is starting to take shape. If we had another couple of geese positioned properly, design would not look too bad. However, we need to start thinking about transfers. For that we'll need a full page picture of Goose 3. I have the complete design study loaded into Photoshop, complete with Goose 3. I also have the fresh copy loaded. I want to move a copy of Goose 3 over to fresh copy. Select the move tool. Select Goose 3. Click on Goose 3 and drag it to fresh copy. Position it. We don't need the design study anymore. Close it out. In fresh copy make sure Goose 3 layer is selected. Click edit. Come down to transform. Click. And scale and click. Hold the shift key. Grab one of the corner nodes and drag it as large as you can. Get another node and drag it as large as you can. Select the marquee tool. Apply the transformations. Now we need to print a copy of Goose 3. Save the drawing of Goose 3 as a full page JPEG image. Now we need to print a copy. Select File. Come down to Print with Preview. Select Page Setup. Select Landscape, OK. Select Scale to Fit Media and select Print, OK. I have opened a picture of a drawing board I made from two wooden serving trays I purchased at Walmart. I put a Lazy Susan bearing under the circular tray. This drawing board is not necessary but it does make drawing and tracing a lot easier. You can see two full page pictures of two other geese I used in my Boleno engraving. I have one of the pictures taped on all four corners to the circular disc. I have an 8.5 by 11 sheet of clear plastic taped on the upper corners only. I have slipped a plain sheet of paper between the picture and the plastic. You can see I have traced the outline of each feather of the goose with a felt tip pen. Be sure the main outline is done well, dark and complete, to make the traced area stand out. I made a tracing picture of all three geese. And this is what I came up with. I named the traced images Goose 1, Goose 2, and Goose 3. And this is my complete design. Now you will notice this is still a Photoshop drawing. It still has all the layers and each layer can still be adjusted as necessary. A drawing that is saved as a JPEG cannot be adjusted. The same is true if you have merged or flattened the drawing. I printed a copy of the complete design. Then I clicked off the eye of each layer except for the geese and large oval and printed that on another sheet of plastic. I taped the plastic over the complete design drawing and on the plastic I roughly hand drew in the swamp, mountains and clouds. And this is a copy of my transfer design. I did say it was rough. I scanned the plastic drawing, reduced it in size until the oval matched the oval I had already engraved on the shotgun, and then I printed the design on some of Tom White's transfer material. I taped that to the gun, then using Tom White's transfer magic, I proceeded to apply the transfer. I then cut the design, and this is the finished product. Now the object of this tutorial was to cover all of the steps and procedures I used with the free version of Photoshop CS2. This was my first experience making a video tutorial, putting it on YouTube and making it available to the engraving forums. 
I hope it was not too boring and was of some help to you in your engraving endeavors.